Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 32nd video in Qt5 C++ Graphical User Interface Application Development. Uh, in the previous video we have completed our uh, main design for our login and registration system. In this video we are going to work our database programming and we are going to f uh, first we are going to create our uh, this uh, register system uh, when the user write their username, password, email, and phone, and if they click on register, I want that their data should be registered in MySQL database. So before this, uh, let me just change this uh, password field. Uh, if you see, let me run it. Uh, let me show you that uh, what I want. Uh, if I give password in here, it's uh, showing me the password. I need it should be dot like dot when we are going to give password. So you can choose the your password line edit and you can come here and you find the echo mode. So this is the echo mode. Right now the echo mode is normal but we want it should be password like this. Also for the login password the echo mode should be password. So if I run now you will see that I have a dot dot uh, dot dot password so now I'm waiting for this okay uh, and before this uh, after this uh, we have uh, uh, we are going to create our database uh, and I'm using okay let me you can see it's dot dot and if I give it in here it's dot uh, I'm using MySQL database WAMP server uh, if you don't know how you can connect uh, your Qt application to MySQL database uh, you can watch before videos. I have uh, a complete video on this uh, uh, Connecting Qt5 application to MySQL database. I'm using WAMP server. Let me open uh, PHP my admin Okay, this is now I want to create a new database and I call it uh, Qt5 register Qt5 register and I want to create. <coughs> okay, now this database I need uh, five columns: one for ID, username, password, email, and phone. So I can give it a uh, number of columns to five and go. Oh, sorry. What uh, I I'm going to give it users name of my table. And now, okay, now this is my database, and I want ID, it's integer, and I want it should be auto increment. Okay, it should be uh, auto increment, and click on OK. And for this is our ID. After this, I have a username. Uh, this is Varkar, and the length is 255. I'll uh, also give it a length for this 20. Uh, username, I have a password. Uh, I want Varkar 255. I need an email. And this is also worker, and I want to give it 255 uh, for this 255, and this is worker the phone number. So now I'm going to click on the uh, create my table, save my table. Okay, now I have a users table and. You can see ID, uh, username, password, email, and phone. After this, uh, right click on your register and go to slot. Click OK. I'm going to create slot now in here. Okay. The first thing I need, I want to open my main window.h. Uh, first, I want to open my dot profile. I need to add SQL in here because I'm using. After this, open your header file in here. I'm going to import include uh, Q, Qt SQL. Q 
Security SQL and include um, Qt uh, QSQL database QSQL database okay also I need to include Q message box and in the private I want to create uh, my Q uh, SQL database the object of my database uh, I call it database now open your main window.cpp uh, the first thing in here I need uh, we need a database connection so I'm going to uh, database QSQL database and we want to add our database engine so I'm using MySQL I use QMySQL I highly recommend you to watch my previous video because if you come here you'll and you run your uh, uh, your uh, project you will get error uh, there are some DLL uh, DLL missing in Qt5 uh, for MySQL database now database dot set host name and the host is local host uh, database dot set username my username is root and database dot set password I don't have any password and also database dot set database name my database name is use uh, set database name my database name was qt5 I think register mm, yeah qt5 register qt5 register so this is uh, my connection let me give a simple comment in here uh, connecting to MySQL database okay after connecting to MySQL database uh, now we need to uh, if database dot open if it is open and in here what we want we want to uh, retrieve data from input fields input fields and else if this is not the case we give an error queue message box and information this and uh, not connected database is not connected okay like this now in here the first thing we need uh, let me like this make it bigger uh, we need to retrieve our data from our input fields so if you check your uh, UI user design you can see I have given name for this for example for first text field I have uh, line edit I have uh, a username object name uh, password email and phone number so now we need to use these okay first one is username so Q string username UI username and I want to get the text and save it in my username variable after this we have Q string uh, I think password UI password text uh, Q string email UI email and text and the last one is Q string phone UI phone and text okay now we have retrieved the data after this we are going to 
uh, insert our data to MySQL database. Run our query. Run our insert query. So I'm going to create a QSQL query object. QSQL uh, query. I call it uh, query. Q R Y. And now I want to insert my data. So qry dot prepare I want to use the prepare so and now in here uh, I'm going to write my SQL query insert into users and what was my database fields uh, I want to insert in these database fields so I don't worry about ID because it's auto increment and I need these four uh, fields so I want to username uh, password uh, email and phone okay now the values and what value we want to add values and for this because we are using prepare we need a placeholder for this uh, this username password uh, email and phone okay now after this we are going to bind our uh, value so qry dot bind volume I want to bind my username my username with the username qry dot bind volume and another one is password I want to bind this with the password qry dot bind value and another one is our uh, email it should be bind with the email and at the last one dot bind value we have a uh, phone okay now we have binded our value after this uh, now we are going to uh, uh, make and execute our uh, query so I'm going to create an if uh, condition here if qry dot execute if this is the case I want to add a Q message box Q message box information so the parent is this inserted data inserted uh, success fully okay else and the else we want to give that our data is not inserted Q message box information the parent is this not inserted data is not inserted okay like this uh, so now uh, I think uh, we are we have completed our code and let me run this if I get any error uh, I will check that so let me just run it and I'm waiting for this I think I have get an error so let me just check it uh, Qt scale no such file in the directory so let me run qmic now I want to run it and I'm waiting for this so it will take a few seconds uh, 
I think this time I will not get any error and it will work okay now my application is successfully run now I'm going to add a username for example I want to add my name by the way and uh, I want a password for example I give a password and I give an email address and give a phone number okay if I click on give a random phone numbers let me give my number mm -hmm. okay if I click on register data inserted successfully now we are going to check our database so let me close this and I want to check my database QT5 register and now users okay now you can see I have ID one user ways this is my password and email and this is phone number so let me add another uh, username let me add John do the password is John the email is John at gmail.com and the phone number for example give a like this phone number click on register data inserted successfully now I'm going to check again my database yeah I have another user at name of John Doe ID number two username John Doe password John email John gmail.com and this is the phone. Uh, yeah now we have successfully uh, inserted our data from Qt5 application to the MySQL database. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe my channel and also like the videos.